This is Barry Kirstein for eCube Systems, and today I'm going to be demonstrating the Nextware Remote Studio software and how it works with Mylan and a Gyra repository. So first off, I have Eclipse. I've installed the Nextware Remote Studio software, as you can see by the drop-down menu. I've created four Nextware Remote projects, two C projects, a COBOL project, and a Fortran project. On the VMS system, where I have a Telnet session, I have installed the Nextware Remote server. Back in Eclipse, I've installed Mylan, and here's the task list tab. And we also have a connection to the eCube Systems Gyra repository. So first off, I'm going to open up repository and I see I have a task so I'll double click on the task I can see it's from Kevin Barnes and Kevin Barnes wants me to change hello world to hello New York in this project okay so I'm going to go ahead and click on the context associated with the project and the task and as you can see Kevin Barnes has very graciously set up the context for me here's the module that I need to change. Now as a quick look on the VMS system, I do a directory. This project has two files. I'll type them out. And for this demonstration, we made them simple. So what we have is we have a main project and we have an, an add subroutine. So back here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the text from hello world from the main project to hello world from New York. Standard Eclipse, I need to save this so I'm going to use a control S. Now what I've done is I've saved it onto the PC but now I need to submit this to the VMS system so I'm going to click on the project and I'm going to click on the update button for C and we can see the update is completed when I go to the VMS system I do a directory now I have three files we can see we have version 2 of project 2 main.c if I do a differences we can see the difference there's my New York change now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compile it. So I click on the project, click on the C compile button. Now in this dialog, I can see the two modules. I'm going to specify the main module, specify subroutine, click, up, click OK. The remote compilation is completed. If I do a directory again, I can now see the object files and the map file and the executable image that was created by the build. Now I'm going to run the project, click on the project, click on execute. Here we have the executable image for the project. If there's more than one, we could actually choose which one we need. Click OK. Once this finishes, we actually see the execution of the program, and lo and behold, it says, Hello World from New York. Now I would go ahead and uh, update the task and update the Java repository and uh, tell Kevin that uh, I got his work done for him. This is Barry Kirstein for eCube Systems. Thank you very much.